Please come forward as much as possible. Please fill in the first rows first. Please come forward and make room for those who are coming after you. Thank you. Wahtada. Wa iyyaku wal bid'ah. 
fa innal bid'ata tahdi ila al-ma'siyah wa man ya'sillaha wa rasulahu faqad dalla wa ghawa wa 'alaykum bil ihsan fa inna Allah yuhibbu al-muhsinin qala Allah tabaarak wa ta'ala a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim thumma ja'ala naslahu min sulalatin min ma'in mahin wa qala ta'ala amman khalaqa as-samawati wal ard wa anzala lakum min as-samaa'i ma'an fa anbatna bihi hadaiq hadaiq dhata bahjah ma kana lakum an tunbitu shajaraha a ilahu ma'allah bal hum qaumun ya'dilun sadaq allah al-azim wa qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam في حديث رواه الصحابي قائلا بسق رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يوما في كفه فوضع عليها أسبعه ثم قال قال الله عز وجل يا ابن آدم أني تعجزني وقد خلقتك من مثل هذه حتى إذا سويتك وعدلتك مشيت بين بردي وللأرض منك وإيد فجمعت ومنعت حتى إذا بلغت التراقي قلت أتصدق وأن أوان الصدق رواه أحمد وابن ماجة respected brothers and sisters in Islam before we go to our topic of contemplating on various different forms of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this entire universe starting with our own self I would like to and I'm sure you have seen in the news say a few words about New Zealand that in this 21st century when nations and tribes are motivated materially when despite the claims of democracies especially in my own country India civil liberties and the human rights are violated not only here in the Europe, in other parts of the world, we see the atrocities which are beyond the ima imagination of the human mind. How can one human kill another, hurt another, or violate the rights of others? At this point, we see the bright example of New Zealand where not only the government but the people of New Zealand have without any exemptions shown what we believe in the concept of oneness one universal God one universal humanity one universal message and the humanity is given the freedom of choice where initially we are taught to believe in siblings in humanity and I salute the government 
of New Zealand. I salute the people of New Zealand, the way they have shown their solidarity with every single, not only the victim of aggression, but every single Muslim member of not only Muslim community, but the member of that society. And it is a beautiful example to be followed. To be followed by our country, by India, by Europe, and by the world. Where within shortest period of time, the assault weapons were made illegal. <coughs> Despite the gun lobby in that country. But when people decide to protect the human life, it becomes very easy. Another point where I was particularly touched by this statement of the Prime Minister that not only we are making these weapons illegal, but we are going to look into our own system. Where did we go wrong? Why did this happen? What has happened? And we will look into those flaws and we'll try to con co correct ourselves. So brothers and sisters in Islam, collectively, and brothers and sisters in humanity, we have the friends from the Christian and Jewish communities, our own brothers and siblings in humanity. We need all of us in our own places of worship, not only pray to God Almighty to bring the humanity back to their senses, to bring the humanity to stop everywhere in the world. The spilling of the human blood and start a kind of democracy where compassion and love, peace and justice, equality and no racism or discrimination prevails. And we have to do two things for that. One is to pray to God Almighty and the other one is to become a member of the humanity who is struggling to bring the hearts together, bring the communities together, bring the individuals and group together and to remind them that as the Holy Quran reminds in chapter 49 verse 13, we went in detail last Friday about it. It reminds us that we all belong to one couple, the first one Adam and Eve, and we are all children of Adam and Eve. If we feel that, and if we have consciousness about it, and if we have consciousness about our individual role and role as a member of an organization, inshallah, God willing, we will realize that we are not the bunch of people who have forgotten how to walk on the face of earth despite we are flying in the space. No, we have to remind that our value system is to value the sacredness of human life, to value the sacredness of dignity of the humanity before anything else. As my father, a great Islamic scholar used to say, that never ever put material wealth over your relationship. The relationship, according to the Holy Quran, al mawaddata fil qurba, that relationship based on 
compassion and love is primarily important in Islam and we have read and referred to time and time again in our previous khutbas walladheena amanu wa shaddu hubban lillah those who believe they are strongest in their love for God and our love for God is not valid unless we follow also the glorious words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in chapter number 4 verse number 54 yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbunahu that we have that compassion and love among ourselves and we are a society where you take into consideration the dignity and respect of not only every creation of God Almighty on top of them the most honorable creation that is the human society brothers and sisters in Islam with these words I'm coming to my topic and in this topic Quran the whole of Quran teaches us teaches us a method of asking questions a method of istifsa, you know, to engage yourself and sit back and go through hundreds of verses of the Holy Quran. Some example of them we read from chapter 56, verses 57 to 74, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. God Almighty informing us that we are the one who created you. Don't you believe? That's a big question. You cannot answer that question unless you sit back and think about it. Then the next question comes in the same chapter. Did you see what you sent forth as your semen when husband and wife engage into the intimacy and the wife become pregnant? Is it you who do that? What power is behind? Antum takhluqoonahu Are you the one? Who brings to this world a baby as your own creation? Am nahnul khaliqoon. Or are we the one who create? Then another question. Afara'aytum ma tahruthoon. When you go into the agricultural system and when you put the seeds when you want to do the, you know, do the production, produce, you know, various crops, fruits, plants. Is it you who create? You only put a seed. Who turned the seed into a plant? Who gave you a fruit? Who gave you what you live with from the crops? Are you the one who cultivate? God Almighty is asking, are we the one? You know? And then, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also saying, how many farms and how many efforts of the farmers sometime end into the failure you know if we wanted you know if we could have turned it into the powder then you would wonder what has happened you know you then you will say Inna la mughramun, bal nahnu mahrumun. And those kind of words that, oh, we are the one, 
Now, because of this loss, I'm going to be indebted and I'm going to be deprived of all that material wealth I was about to get from these produce. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked about one of the most important source of our life. Did you see the water which you drink? You know, this water which you are drinking, did you bring it from the clouds? You know, are we the one who caused the rain to come and to provide for you? And who knows better than us Californians when we very frequently go into the droughts, the importance of the water and water in a multiple ways used in the Holy Quran, you know? as a bounty of God Almighty and for the people who will end up into the hellfire as something which will be hurtful and unpalatable. So God Almighty says here, لَوْ نَشَاءُ جَعَلْنَاهُ أُجَاجًا You know, if we wanted, we could have made it undrinkable. But this is the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala must be received with the gratitude. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, فَلَوْلَا تَشْكُرُونَ Are you not going to show your gratitude? Brothers and sisters in Islam, this continues throughout the Holy Quran. Is speaking about the fire which we kindle. Is it we? Where does it come from? And it continues asking various different questions in the Holy Quran. You go to chapter 30, verse 40. Allahu Ladi Khalaqakum. It is Allah who has created you. Thumma razaqakum. Then it is He who has provided for you your sustenance. Thumma yumitukum. And it is He who then causes the death for you. Thumma yuhyikum. And it is He who will resurrect you on the day of judgment. Halmin shurakaikum. The people who worship other than God. They are asked, <coughs> all those you assign as a partners to God Almighty, Man yaf'alu min zalikum, any one of them has the power to create any of these things. Subhana, <laughs> He is the one who is glorified. Wa ta'ala, and He is exalted above what they assign as a partner Amma Yushrikun Brothers and sisters in Islam the time is coming to an end I had more verses but let me go through this beautiful and very powerful saying of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a narrator is speaking and saying that one day in order to remind you know, the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how he created us as mentioned in chapter 32 <coughs> verse number 8 ثُمَّ جَعَلَ نَسْلَهُ مِنْ سُلَالَةٍ مِنْ مَاءٍ مَهِينٍ The human race, how was it started? It started with مِنْ مَاءٍ مَهِينٍ Worthless drop of water worthless drop of water and how God Almighty has given us faculties, intelligence, all the means to become successful and 
obedient to God Almighty and if we decide because we have the freedom of choice we can be worse than the Satan the choice is yours so here the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the narrator says that he spit it on his palm one day and he put his finger on it and he said that God Almighty says O son of Adam are you frustrating me while I have created you with this drop of water like this and I gave you the proper proportion in your body and in your structure I gave you the beautiful shape you started walking on earth which is going to be the place of your burial later and you started collecting the material wealth and you started withholding the material wealth until the last breath of your life came and at that time you said now I am going to become the charitable now it is too late once you see the death no deed of righteousness is valid with God Almighty so brothers and sisters in Islam we need to engage into the contemplation into thinking and into coming to various conclusions if we only would like to fulfill the purpose of your, our life and that is to connect with God Almighty and as a result of our connection with God Almighty connect with the creation of God Almighty and that will only come if we realize that this is a very temporary life the life after death is the everlasting one our success there will depend on our struggle how good how kind how beneficial how helpful how productive member we become in the human society there are some requests for dua dua for a speedy, a speedy recovery for Sayyid Hamid Lazar and for brother Sheikh Nabil Khan also dua for uh, our brother Muhammad Hussain Chaudhary who is going to go through the bypass may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant speedy recovery to every single one of them and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant speedy recovery to all the sick people from among the Muslim community and from among the human society and may God Almighty grant us the recovery from our sicknesses of our mind which results into the hatred of the people. May God Almighty guide us to remove those things and may God grant His forgiveness to all those who have passed away including the martyrs in the terrorist attack of New Zealand and anywhere in the world the human life is destroyed may God Almighty give us the senses so we can shoulder our responsibility may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our dua aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisayir al-muslimina fa astaghfiru إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا كما أمر 
واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ارغاما لمن جحد به وكفر واشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله سيد الخلائق والبشر قال الله تبارك وتعالى ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد بعدد من صلى وصاف وصل على محمد وعلى ال محمد بعدد من قعد وقام وصل على جميع الانبياء والمرسلين والصحابه اجمعين والتابعين وتابع التابعين وسلف الصالحين واولياء الكاملين وعلماء الراسخين الى يوم الدين رضوان الله تعالى عليهم اجمعين اللهم اعز الاسلام والمسلمين اللهم اجعلنا من الذين يستمعون القول فيتبعون احسنه اللهم وحد كلمه المسلمين اللهم الف بين قلوب المؤمنين اللهم اشف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين اللهم اغفر لجميع المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الاحياء منهم والاموات انك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين عباد الله رحمكم الله ان الله يامر بالعدل والاحسان وايتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله يذكركم وادعوه يستجب لكم ولا ذكر الله تعالى اعلى واولى واعز واجل واهم واتم واعظم واكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون اقم الصلاه بليز برادرز كم فورورد از ماتش از بوسيبل الله اكبر الله اكبر اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان محمدا رسول الله حي على الصلاه حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاه قد قامت الصلاه الله اكبر الله اكبر لا اله الا الله